Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So with update 1 being out now for nearly a month, I thought I'd share with you my game plan going forward. So I will be carrying on with my 3000 hour save, as I'm not too stressed about the story right now. So they have announced that the game will eventually come to consoles, which I may pick it up on the PS5 and then play through the story on there. So before 1.0 was officially released, I was actually lucky enough to be part of the beta. So all the node changes that took effect, I was able to rectify that before importing my save once 1.0 was officially released. The main ones that actually affected me were the Caturium nodes. One here for the Quickwire and the Copper Sheets build. Luckily this build will run on this one node alone. And the next is the Pure node that used to be here that was for the wire and cable build. Now to get around this, I've taken this node here that's next to the main hub running it on the ground back to the cable and wire facility. Now what did change from the beta, or maybe I just didn't notice, was the announcement of the change to the fuel generators and how much power they produce. I'll show the video here. Next thing I want to talk about is fuel generators, okay? Uh, <laughs> one change we've made to fuel generators is that they will now produce 250 megawatts of power instead of the current 150 megawatts while still requiring the same amounts of all types of fuel. Now what I took from this video was that the power output from the generators would increase but the input would stay the same. So that kind of was good for me because I was actually running low on power. Now imagine my surprise when I was playing and all of a sudden I got the notification to say that my power had cut out. And that's when I realized that the power has increased, but the inputs have all changed. So I had run all my generators dry. So I had to come over to the hive and fix the power. Now, because this is a 3000 hour save, I had plenty of summer sloops going. So what I've done is chuck some in all of these refineries to increase the output of the fuel and since I had to change all the values of each generator personally I thought this would be a good opportunity to just get some more power out of these generators. Now I also had to go and fix the oil rig and this is where another problem arose. So as part of the beta testing I had noticed that the world border had changed near the rocky desert. Now this was an issue for me as I had just finished my oil rig the big shell and realized that going there now caused me to die but luckily as part of beta testing we were in a discord server so I had voiced my concern to one of the developers who said that they would look into resetting the world borders but the beta would close before the change would take effect so I had to wait till 1.0 to find out if it was fixed Sadly, this was not the case, and now, when I come here, I die. But, not to worry, because with the help of Satisfactory Calculator, I just upped and moved it. So now, it's pretty much to the right of where the shipyard is. So what's changed? Well, firstly, I've done a whole redesign on the main hub base, changing all the color out to black, getting rid of the colorful central pillar and gone for a nice concrete look. I've also added in quite a few signs, try and lighten it up a little bit. Then coming over to what used to be the encased industrial beam build, I've now changed this so it's actually the rods and screw factory. The reason being is because I didn't actually need as many rods and screws as I was previously making in the old factory. Now, you're probably wondering, what have I done with the old rods and screw factory? Well, this is now the new encased industrial beam factory, producing 143 per minute. We're taking in the oil from the wire and cable factory. We're then changing that oil into petroleum coke, which is then being mixed with iron ore to produce steel ingots. The steel ingots are then being turned into steel pipes as well as being combined with concrete to produce the encased industrial beams. 
What we've also done as well is go round some of the old builds. As pointed out in Total Eclipse's tour video that he did for my save, I never really thought about the old builds that hadn't been updated for Lumen. So I've gone in with some signs just to give it a bit more light, brighten it up a little bit. And I think the finished product looks pretty good. I've still got a few more that I need to add light to, but so far, so good. Anyhow guys, that's about it for now. I do have a few builds in mind that I want to make, as well as a few builds that I am currently making. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this update video and I shall see you in the next one.